Welcome back to Ballistic. Do you sometimes get the feeling that your firearm can go off anytime and that it can be more dangerous to you than to your target? Well, as it turns out, even with modern technology and manufacturing processes, there are still some guns out there that pose a deadly threat to their owners. Today, we're diving into a topic that might make you rethink your range day plans. In this video, we'll uncover the top five most dangerous guns in the world. These aren't just any guns. They're the ones that could turn a day at the range into a 911 call. So, which guns made the list? And why are they more hazardous than helpful? Stay tuned, and let's find out together why sometimes the danger could be much closer than it appears. Number 5. Taurus PT 24 sevenths. Number 5 on our list is the Taurus PT 24 sevenths, a gun that stirred up quite a bit of buzz for all the wrong reasons. If you've been around the gun blogosphere or tuned into YouTube channels covering firearms, you've likely heard about the reliability and safety concerns plaguing some Taurus models, especially those made before 2016 that have since been discontinued. Among them is the PT-24 Sevenths, an affordable polymer-framed full-size pistol that really aimed to deliver bang for your buck. This pistol is so dangerous it cost the Brazilian gunmaker millions of dollars in out-of-court settlements. Priced around $350, the PT-24 Sevenths was a deal, especially for a striker, fired handgun featuring a second strike capability, a DASA trigger, and a three-position safety lever that doubled as a decocker. Before this model hit the market, most DASA pistols with a decocker were heavier, steel-framed, hammer-fired pistols. The PT-24 Sevenths broke the mold, excluding the pricier Walther P99, which cost about $200 more. The PT-24 Sevenths wasn't just about savings. It boasted solid fit and finish, impressive pointability, and excellent ergonomics. It balanced well, aimed naturally, and featured a slight palm swell and nicely checkered grip, making it much more comfortable to handle, aim, and shoot than its direct competitor, the full-size Glock 17. However, the very feature that added a layer of safety the decocker turned out to be its Achilles heel. Numerous reports have documented that engaging the decocker with a loaded chamber leads to random accidental discharges. If you see a PT-24 Sevenths in the used market selling for dirt cheap, don't buy it. Number 4. Colt Single Action Number 4 on our list, the Colt Single Action Army, along with its Ruger Blackhawk lookalikes, have this distinctive three-screw design on the side. You might wonder, what's the fuss about some screws? Well, those screws are a clue that the hammer rests directly on the firing pin, which can make the gun somewhat unpredictable. Back in the 70s, there's this nearly legendary story among gun enthusiasts about a guy whose Ruger Blackhawk was just chilling on his passenger seat. He had to hit the brakes hard, and the gun flew forward, hit the dashboard, and fired, shooting him in the leg. Ouch! Stories like that aren't isolated either. There's a whole bunch of tales and even some crazy videos out there showing just a light tap on the hammer setting these guns off like fireworks. The silver lining here? The manufacturers eventually got on this issue and introduced a hammer block safety feature, and they ditched one of those infamous screws. Nowadays, if you see one of these guns with only two screws, you're looking at a safer version. But stumble upon an old model with three screws? Handle it with extra care. It's got a history of being a bit wild. Number 3. Remington 700 All right, so let's chat about the Remington 700, which you might know as the most common bolt, action rifle out there. Seriously, this thing is everywhere, especially in the good old USA. Launched back in 1962 by Remington Arms, the Remington 700 was like a fresh update to their earlier models from 1948. This rifle isn't just a one-trick pony. It's got a whole family of variants like the 700 ADL, BDL, CDL, Safari, SPS, you name it. Originally designed for hunters, some of these bad boys have been adapted for the military and law enforcement. 
The Army even dubbed one version the M24 sniper weapon system and made it their standard issue sniper rifle in the 88. Now here's where it gets dicey and why the Remington 700 lands on our list of notorious firearms. Despite its fame and use, all units made before 2014 had a bit of a hiccup a trigger design flaw. This nasty little defect could cause the rifle to fire unexpectedly when you flick off the safety, even if you're not touching the trigger. While it's a small percentage of rifles that are affected, the consequences have been deadly, leading to several fatalities. Despite tons of complaints and lawsuits against Remington, they kind of tried to brush this under the carpet until they lost a big class action lawsuit. That lawsuit forced them to replace the faulty triggers on about 7.5 million rifles. Although Remington has never admitted the triggers were to blame, this issue sure didn't help their financial situation, leading to a bunch of out-of-court settlements. Got a Remington 700? You might want to check if there's a V stamped on the trigger. That's Remington's way of telling you they fixed it up. No V. Might be a good idea to get a gunsmith to pop in a reliable replacement, like a Timney 2 stage trigger, just to be safe. Number 2. Winchester Model, 1911 SL. All right, let's talk about the Winchester Model, 1911 SL a real blast from the past in the world of semi-automatic shotguns. Introduced way back in 1911, yeah, the same year it got its name the SL in Winchester model 1911 SL stands for self-loading. This was Winchester trying to jump into the auto-loading shotgun game and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Browning Auto 5. Now, the 1911 SL had options, 12 gauge, 16 gauge, 20 gauge, and even 28 gauge, with around 83000 of these shotguns churned out. They're still floating around in gun stores and shows across the U.S. today. If you've snagged one or are thinking about it, here's the scoop on why you might want to handle it with extra care. Winchester's big idea was to rival the Browning Auto 5, but without stepping on any of John Browning's boatload of patents. Browning was a patent ninja with the Auto 5, especially with its charging tab. Sounds minor, but stick with me here. The 1911 SL mimicked the Auto 5's long recoil action, where the bolt and barrel lock together and move back after firing, ejecting the spent shell and chambering a new one. But here's the kicker. Unlike the Auto 5, the 1911 SL didn't have that nifty charging tab because of those pesky patents. So, what was Winchester's workaround? You had to push down on the barrel to load it, this led to unnecessary deaths. Many owners had to rest the shotgun's butt on the ground and use both hands to push the barrel down to cycle the action. Unsurprisingly, this resulted in the gun firing accidentally right towards the user's face. Scary, huh? This dangerous design flaw earned the 1911 SL a notorious nickname, the Widowmaker. Number 1. SIG P320 Number one on our countdown, the SIG P320. Now, this is a piece that gained huge popularity, especially after the U.S. military picked it up as their standard issue sidearm in 2017, slapping on those official designations M17 and M18. Despite its rising star status, it wasn't long before a video surfaced showing the P320 firing unintentionally sparking a huge debate and investigation into the cause. Turns out, if you drop this pistol just right, from a certain height at a 30-degree angle, the weight of the trigger itself could cause it to fire. Yep, you heard that right. The trigger's own mass was enough to set it off. This discovery led to a lawsuit in 2018 and eventually a class-action settlement by early 2020. Sig Sauer didn't just sit back. They launched a voluntary upgrade program offering to tweak the trigger, sear, and striker to reduce their weight and add a mechanical disconnector, aiming to fix this snag for any P320 owner who sent their pistol in. But even with these fixes, we're still seeing reports, especially among law enforcement, of the P320 discharging accidentally. Most departments keep quiet about these incidents, but those that do go public reveal that there might still be some unresolved issues with the design that the upgrade program hasn't fully addressed.
For instance, the Wyoming Highway Patrol stopped issuing the P-320 after a scary mishap where a trooper's pistol went off unexpectedly. Although no one was hurt, it shook enough confidence that they pulled the plug on using it. And over in Milwaukee, the police officers' union went as far as filing a lawsuit against the city after a couple of officers were injured by their P-320S firing without a trigger pull, highlighting ongoing safety concerns. And there you have it, guys, the five most dangerous guns in the world. Please like, share, and subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on our latest. Thanks for watching.